same time, I would, my step to Leo's, I don't know, it'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think all steps should eventually come Yeah. <laughs> Crossbars, they're uh... Just as like a little yeah, That's the real deal. All right. But I guess my next, I guess my next question, just to just to, is on that question of value, then, is like, is there a different sort of artistic value, or is there a different possibility that artists bring to shifting conditions of value? And that's sort of where we're. That's a good question. That's where we're at. Yeah. Is there twine? Yeah. Yeah, but you know what I was thinking though, in terms of like just the the appeal of like abandoned land, is like, isn't there something kind of like weirdly colonial about it, like? Really, what about it? Colonial, oh. like the impetus to like, oh, you see, like land that's been abandoned, and there's like this uh, this need to go in and like quote fix it, and therefore kind of claim it as your own, and you also kind of assume that there's like no ownership because it's unworked. Yeah. And I've been reading a lot lately about like like the idea of like private property and how that kind of came about um, with like Enlightenment philosophy when they were taught like there's this idea that you own land by like working it and by transforming it and it yeah. also the that labor transforms you and so when we see land that hasn't been transformed by labor we assume it's like not owned yeah.